So in this problem, we have to find the area of a sector. And what they tell us about this particular sector is that it has a central angle of 45 degrees and a radius of six. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna draw a circle, all right? And then I'm gonna draw my vertical and my horizontal axes. Now they're giving me a degree measurement, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down then the degrees here for my circle, right? Zero is on the right, positive x, and then as we rotate, in a counterclockwise fashion, that's 90, that's then 180, and that's then 270 degrees. So it wants to know now, what's a sector then, meaning a sector is just a piece of a circle. What's the sector of a circle that has an angle of 45 degrees? Well, start with one of the lines drawn, okay, uh, to zero degrees. I'm gonna draw another longer one so I can kind of manipulate it here. And then what we're gonna do is rotate this on up around the circle to 45 degrees. That looks about right. So this angle in here now represents 45 degrees. And this area now that I'm gonna shade in green, this area represents then the area of that particular sector. Okay, this is the area. That's the area. We gotta find the area of that. Okay, we have to find the area of this. So how do we do it? Well, we can first start off by calculating the area of the full circle. The area of the full circle, you know this formula, is equal to pi r squared. So the area of the full circle will be pi multiplied by the radius of 6 centimeters squared. So the area of the full circle is simply going to be 36 pi. And the unit then here in centimeters, I didn't put it in the, um, you know, in the conversion, in the calculation, but centimeters is in there, so technically this would be then centimeters squared. Those would be the units. But th this is the area of the full circle. But that's not the area, meaning that's the area of this whole thing, right? If I were to, if I were to find this whole area, the area of this whole thing I just found, okay? The area of the whole thing. But I don't want to know the area of the whole thing. I just want to know the area of this piece in green. Let me ask you a question. What fraction does this piece represent of the full circle? Well, this one quadrant here, let me put it in red, this one quadrant represented a fourth. And this quadrant represented another fourth, and this quadrant represented another fourth, right? And that's another fourth over here. So that made a full. Now, if this represented a fourth, and you know 45 degrees is half a 90, so if this whole thing represented a fourth, then that means that this piece right in here must represent half of a fourth, which is an eighth, right? which is an eighth. Now the way you can do that is by doing it this way. You can take the ang the measured angle, measured, measured angle, and simply then dividing it by the full measurement, the full degree measurement of a circle. So in other words, you could have taken 45 divided by 360, and guess what that would have come out to be? One eighth. This is telling you the fraction of the full circle, right? If there's 360 degrees in a full circle and you're only considering 45 of them, you're considering one eighth of the full circle. So wait a minute, if, I'm, if I know the area of the full circle and then I'm only considering one eighth here, does that mean I can take the full area and then multiply it by one eighth to find an eighth of it? And yes, 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 you can. That's exactly what we're gonna do, okay? So I can create a new formula over here for you. It says like the area of a sector will equal the full area of a circle, pi r squared, and then I'm going to say multiplied by now, the measured angle, measured, eh, I'm gonna run out of space, measured angle, all divided then by the 360, okay? If this was in terms of radians, though, I wouldn't have written this in here. I would have I would have kept measured angle the same. That, that would have been the same, but this would have been now two pi because there's two pi radians in a full circle. That's the only way it would have changed, okay? So we have a now formula we can use. We don't even need the formula though. We can understand that if I found the full and I know now this represents one eighth, I can just take this answer and multiply it by one eighth. It doesn't really matter. They're all gonna work out to be the same. So the area of the sector is gonna be equal to 36 pi multiplied then by one eighth. So, you know, eight, the eight, we can reduce this, right? The eight can be reduced down 
uh, to a two, right? And this could be, then be reduced down to a nine. It's really late right now. I'm just gonna, do <laughs> I'm gonna double check that, right? 36 over four, oh goodness, okay, thank God, right? All right, good. So this now will simply be, in terms of the answer, this will simply be now nine pi over two centimeters squared. That's the exact answer. If you wanted the actual decimal answer now, just take nine, multiply it by 3.14, and then divide it by two. So it's about 14.1. So 14.1 uh, squared centimeters. And that's it. Okay, either answer is fine. This is the more exact value, but that's how you do it. Okay? So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hopefully this helps. And uh, check out some more of our videos. We've got thousands of problems out there for you. Solve specifically. All right? So I know we're able to help you in whatever course you're taking. We've got physics, chemistry, pre-calculus. We've got biology. we got a whole bunch of stuff. All right? Check out our channel. View our playlists. We try to keep everything organized there for you. We'll see you soon.